And hello, you archaeologists. I'm the John Struct. Welcome to the proximity. I'm having a storyteller adventure. Let me tell you, um, I didn't. That last episode did, did not need to be so quick. I went out about forty minutes too early. Um, and if had I been paying attention to my messages, I would have known. Perhaps learning more about stories will help me out in that sort of situation. I'm not sure how that would help, but uh, I, want, I wanted to connect the two, didn't I? Let's continue, shall we? Storyteller. A book about building stories. Let's go to the correct pages. I think we're on chapter 9. Amnesia. I knew I'd remember. The execution. Oh, it's, it's gonna be all weddings. All weddings all the time. Execution of the Queen, execution of the Baron. So let's go for this storyline, shall we? The Baron, he kidnaps the Queen, and this... Hang on, did we need to do this? No, we didn't even need to do that. There we go, I like the ending better. Uh, he's... Hang on, let's actually... There is a queen who would want to find love, but not with the evil baron, for he is an evil baron. So the evil baron kidnaps the queen. Little does they know that this is the exact situation that will cause amnesia, according to science. That's how that works. And he's like, oh, amnesia? Well, uh, oh, I didn't kidnap you. I'm, in fact, saving you. And she's like, ah, oh, that's... The exact criteria I need to marry someone, so I shall marry you. And it's like, ah, oh, but now I'm gonna have you executed. Because he's, he's a right bastard, that guy. But what if we wanted to execute the Baron? Could we? Undo the amnesia. Or double amnesia, maybe. Hmm. 
I like because it's like drat. Um, what if he gets amnesia? There we go, but let's, let's have a full story. There was an evil baron, and he wanted the crown. See that? I would want to marry for the crown. You will marry me, queen? Oh, she doesn't look impressed. Uh, then I will kidnap you. I know. I will trick you into marrying me. Oh, my goodness. I've just forgotten everything. Is there a, is there a lady up there? My word. I will let her down. She shouldn't be in a... You fucking kidnapped me. Uh, and there we go. He gets executed. He deserved it in that situation. The queen suffers four tragedies. So four funerals and a wedding. Where can we even find the time for four tragedies? person can go in that scene. Oh, I have no idea. Thank you. 
Hmm. Four tragedies. What could they possibly be? What is the general theme of this area? Misfortune. There's only one answer as well. Ooh. Ooh, I'm sorry to hear that. Hello, by the way. I don't like the networks. That's why I like to only do networks like on P network stuff on PC. My tea is cold. Yeah, I'm not seeing the options. She's got no reason to execute anyone right now. Like, with amnesia, it might make sense. I can't... Oh, fuck, I'm going to try the next episode. We'll come back to this. The King Noxious. There we go. A cyclic, mutually toxic love affair. There we go. There was a king and a queen, and they were in love. But they fought all the time. They had the arguments, and then they both—they both got had amnesia, and it was like eternal sunshine or a spotless mind. Probably, I've not seen that film. So they fell in love again, and thus there's this continuing cycle of mutually toxic love affair. There we go. I did that one really quickly. Double execution. Well, it's going to have to be execute, execute affair, isn't it? There was a king and a maid. <gasps> okay, that doesn't work out way around. Well, she wasn't having any of that. Execute the king. Execute the maid. There we go. There was a the king and a queen, and they weren't happily married, for the king was having an affair with this maid. So off with his head, and off with her head. It's not much of a story. Let's try and improve it. But the king takes Wenge. What, like so? There was a king and a queen, and they weren't happily mad because he was having an affair with a maid. So the queen was like, "Off of your head, maid! You will, you'll be dead. I will murder you." And the king was like, "I'm going to murder you for that." And and there, double execution. That's the story of rags to royalty. There was a king and a queen. They were happily married. The king, of course, as we all know. He fell in love with the maid. Was the queen watching? Maybe, maybe not, who knows. But the king could not have that. Oh, okay, maybe the queen can't have that. Um... Hmm. What if we get rid of this? Okay. Ah. There we go. There was a king and a queen, and they were very much in love. But oh my word, 
He, the king also, he fell in love with the maid. The queen did not like that one bit. The queen kidnapped the maid and put him in a cage. And the king was like, D who kidnapped you? And she was like, the queen, she kidnapped me. And he was like, ah, off of your head then. I'm going to marry the maid. And so he did. The end. What a beautiful tale. The baron who rules alone. There was a king and there was a queen... But no, the king was no more. So it was a baron. And a maid? Is he not doing well? Very wide. Fair enough. Oh, yeah, because WrestleMania. I've heard the Dominic Ray storyline is really good. We are talking storylines after all. is a nice person. Okay, I've got it. There we go, the Baron. It's got to be, it feels like a, such a stressful business. Everyone has all these personal opinions. I guess Brock has sway though. This is the Baron who rules alone. The tale of a serial killer. There was a king and a queen who were very much in love. And then the, the, the one night, they, the queen was walking by the, the cliff face. It has a beautiful view, let me tell you. Uh, and then the Baron, he pushed her off. And the king, well, he, 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 he got to get married, doesn't he? So he got married to the maid because... She was the only other person available. And, you know, after a marriage, it's custom to walk across the cliffs for the lovely view, but the Baron was still there, and he, he do, he do the push. He didn't, he do the push. And the king, he fell to his doom. But of course, the maid had no king, and she married the Baron. And the Baron was like, no, I rule alone. Hey, there's a beautiful cliff with a beautiful view. Never mind the fact the last two monarchs died from there. You should go to chicken. Ah, oh, I kill you as well. I'm like Dexter, but with royalty rather than I don't know the people that Dexter kill. And that's the end. That's the the, the tale Machiavelli. Apparently, I 
I, I've not read Machiavelli. I'm sure it's just like that. I, I remember um, uh, bad bad news, not bad news, Brown, bad news, Barrett. I had like two weeks of quoting Machiavelli and then WWE decided nobody knew who the fuck Machiavelli was and he, they took it away. Let's go to the next story. Chapter 11, Monsters. The Weir, the Wolf. All forests, all the time. It's just Bernard in the forest. I tell you what. Well, I wasn't really paying attention to the plot, but, um... I've basically done it, haven't I? Oh, hang on. Yeah. They need to fall in love first. Otherwise it's just random some random lady. Hello. Once upon a time Oh hello slime, one, two, three, four, five, five, four, five. Like your pot man. Once upon a time, there was a couple called Bernard and Juliet. They were very much in love. But you see, Bernard was a dog. Ooh. Thank you very much for the follow. You got yourself a nice green toad snail. Well, at least it, it displayed one. Once upon a time, I should continue my story. Once upon a time, there was a lovely couple by the name of Bernard and Juliet. They were very much in love. But Bernard had a terrible secret. He was a dog boy. And by the moon, he would turn wild and feral. Unfortunately, deep into the woods, he would meet his lover once again. But unable to control himself, he, he murdered the, the wife, the wifey. And he woke up when the, the, full, the moon was no longer fat. And he saw the corpse of his dearly beloved. And with the knowledge that he killed her, he took the poison. And both of them were no more. That is the tale of the Bernard drinks poison. Better or worse than Bernard and the genie? I'll let you decide. Queen gets the Baron arrested. Okay, well it's all boring all the time. We're just gonna all hang out. Just having lovely conversations. She doesn't know who it is though because of the disguise. Last time we were here, we, we were allowed to change.
How does she see him getting changed? We can't look for the eyes because we don't have the right room for it. There we go. There once was a prankster who went by the name of Baron. He wasn't even a Baron, it's just his name. Uh, and ah, he loved scaring the queen. She was so scared. He did one of his classic pranks, classic Baron pranks. People generally love him. I scared the queen. And he goes, that was a classic prank. Loved it. Let's put this disguise back. Can't believe this is the seventh time we've done this. She always gets afraid. And she hires the queen, by the way, hires a detective and it's like, somebody scared me with a monster costume, presumably, and that's now illegal. I've decided that it's illegal. And he's like, I'm on the case. And then he, he goes, he looks in all the rooms and he sees the fingerprints. And I'm like, there's only one guy in the land that owns fingerprints. And he's called Baron. He's a, he's a legendary jabster. And he arrests the legendary jabster. You're going to prison now. And it's like, I... I've not even murdered somebody. I've murdered so many people in other storylines, but no, we have gone to prison. And that's it. That's the tale. The queen gets the baron arrested. Let's move on to the next story. 